Okay, so we went through and we installed Raspbian and Jesse Lite on a Raspberry Pi. Now we can get to the fun stuff. We'll start by installing Home Assistant. So Home Assistant is an open source home automation platform. And together with MQTT, we'll make up the core of our home automation infrastructure. So I thought we'd start by installing Home Assistant. Uh, there's four things that we're going to do. We're going to update the OS, Raspbian and Jesse Lite. Um, we're going to install Home Assistant. We're going to set Home Assistant to start at boot as a service so that you don't have to log in and run it by hand every time to keep it running. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and adjust the firewall to allow connections from the outside world. The firewall um, opening is necessary on the latest kernels of Raspbian and Jesse Lite. If you're using an older kernel, you may not need to do it now, but eventually you might upgrade and yours will stop working. So it's worth doing um, and you'll learn something hopefully. So let's go ahead and start by upgrading our OS. So sudo apt get update will update our indexes and get our operating system ready to go. This could take up to five, 10 minutes, um, but we'll edit out a lot of that we'll do real quick. So, and then sudo app get upgrade dash Y will actually do the upgrade of the OS. And this could take, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to finish up to a couple hours, depending on your pie and your speed. Um, and then just the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Python three in the Python three installer. Uh, Home assistant runs as a Python three uh, program. So to install both the both Python 3 and the installer. It's sudo apt-get uh, install, Python 3, and then Python 3-pip, and pip is the installer. Um, once you do that, that doesn't take as long. That should take maybe 10 minutes or so to go through and, and download and install for you. Just hit yes there and, and keep on going. Um, once that is done, we're ready to install Home Assistant. And I'm gonna use a version of Home Assistant that is one version older than the current version at the time of this recording. Um, the current version was a little bit buggy and I went on the forums and other people um, had hanging issues like I did um, and there were some other issues. So we're gonna actually um, specify the version of Home Assistant to install. So we're gonna install version 0 0.32.3 and to do that, it's just sudo uh, pip3, again, we just installed that, so that's the Python installer, install Home Assistant equal equal 0.32.3 and that's all no spaces on the home assistant equal equal in the version number. You don't have to put the version number. You can try with the most current version, especially if this video has been out a while. Um, you know, the developers are really great and I'm sure that this is a temporary issue that'll be cleaned up pretty quickly. Um, once that's um, done, um, we're gonna go ahead and we will reboot. And you don't technically have to here, but we're gonna reboot at the end of every phase just to clean everything up and get everything ready. Um, so once we are done with the reboot, go ahead and log back on, and we're going to go ahead and configure Home Assistant to start. And the first thing we need to do is understand where Home Assistant is installed. So where is HASS, and just keep in mind the path that it returns to you. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and create a service unit file and a service unit file is just a definition of the service that, that um, Linux will use to, to actually run the service when it boots up. So sudo nano etc slash systemd slash system and then slash hass dot service. And that's the name that we're going to use. You can use any name there. I think has dot service is a good enough name for our service. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. You can get this from my website, the service definition. You'll see the x start is the path that you got just above where you did where is has and then the username is the username you're going to run this under if you put a different username um, you'll get a lot of hanging issues because it'll try to write things into that home directory and it won't work but once you do that go ahead and save out that file and then um, we're going to set it to actually start to run um, so the first thing we do is sudo um, system controls um, systtl dash dash system and then daemon dash reload and that will read in the file that we just created and then sudo systemctl enable and then has dot service and that actually enables it to run at startup 
Um, and then we'll go ahead, you can see it created sort of a link between the system and um, the service itself and the service record. And then we're gonna go ahead and reboot and that's it. So now Home Assistant is actually set to run at boot. And the last thing we have to do is go ahead and um, open up our firewall so that Home Assistant can run. If it's running right now, but if we try to connect to it, it wouldn't actually connect. It would tell us that the service um, or the server rejected our, our um, attempts. So go ahead and type in, um, we're gonna create a file. So it is sudo nano etc iptables.firewalls.rules, enter, and go ahead and copy in the text that I, I give you in my website. Um, and there's some things you have to do. So what we're doing is we're opening up port 8123 We'll leave ports 80, 443, and 8080. And we're also opening up the UDP ports for um, UPnP. Uh, make sure that the IP addresses in what I've given you match your network. My network is actually 192.167. 192.168 is more common, um, but go ahead and change those if yours has changed. And then just go ahead and save that out um, like you would any other file. Uh, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and read that file in. So. Um, to the actual firewall rules. So IP tables, um, restore, and then um, less than, and then etc IP tables dot firewall dot rules, just the file we just made. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna copy the rules we just made into the actual IP tables, which is the firewall rules, um, rules engine. Um, and once that's done, we have to actually tell it to do that every time that we, we start. So we're gonna make a new file, sudo nano etc network, if pre up dot D slash firewall. And what that's saying is, you know, um, the interface before it comes up, do this to the firewall rules. And then um, we're gonna copy in some text for my thing. We're gonna run it as a bash shell. And um, we're just gonna say, hey, restore that to the IP table rules. Um, and then go ahead and save that out. And again, all of this is on my website. You can just copy it. Um, and then the last thing we need to do is actually set the permissions on the file we just made. So sudo chmod plus x and then etc network if pre up dot d slash firewall. And once that's done, we can go ahead and reboot again. And now we're all set. Um, everything's set up to run. We have a firewall, um, our firewall open. We have um, Home Assistant set to run as a service and we have um, Home Assistant actually installed. Um, there isn't much there at this point um, to actually see in Home Assistant, um, but that's okay. Our next video is gonna actually go through the initial configuration, um, and the initial configuration will actually add some things. I'll walk you through some of the um, files and, and configuration files and things like that um, that you'll want to just get things up and running. But this is what it looks like initially. There's really not much there. Um, but we'll, we'll fix that in the next video. So like, share, subscribe, um, all that, and we will see you next time. Thanks.